The other thing that's happening, Jacoby Brissett is playing really well. Brissett uh, talked post-game um, about just uh, the win, how badly they needed it, and, and his play. I thought it was a great team win. Um, I think we, we, we obviously on offense started out slow. Um, and then uh, I think we settled in, and, and then we just started to get things going. And then um, we knew it was going to be a 60-minute football game. Uh, obviously, they're a good team, uh, great coaches, uh, good players. So it, it was just about – it came back to us. And um, I think we, could, we did a good job of settling back in and then just making our routine plays. Jacoby, do you think you really answered a lot of people's questions about the way you played in these first three games? Because – Fans didn't really know much, much about you until now. Um, I'm not in this to, to answer anybody's questions. I'm in here to play good football, um, play for my teammates, uh, and, and enjoy this moment. Uh, and and that's, that's what it really is all about. And, and um, I can look those guys in, my, in their faces and, and tell them I'm giving them my best. And um, that's what I look, look forward to. Jacoby, can you describe the emotion, the feeling on the sneak when you got up and you pumped your fist and, you know, the crowd kind of went wild? You know, I was thinking about that on the sideline because I've never been able to do that in a game. And every time I see a quarterback do that in a game, I'm like, dang, that's so sick. I want to do that one time. And uh, and I told myself if I get the sneak, I'm doing it. And uh, I almost blacked out. Uh, but uh, just, I mean, the Florida game and, and just being excited and, and uh, letting my emotions show and not holding things in and, and uh, just being present. Scott, it really seems like Kevin Stefanski and, and Jacoby Brissett have kind of come to understand what they need to do to be successful. And, and it, I think if you look Panthers game to Steelers game, you can kind of see the difference there. Yeah, there's no doubt. And I think part of that was, you know, Jacoby said he was emotional for that opening game, and I think that affected him. I think there's now a greater comfort level with him and what Kevin Stefanski wants as a play caller and out of his system. And I think that's why Jacoby Brissett looks quicker and his footwork looks better. Um, and, and I just love the way he answers questions, you know. And it's not that the Browns fans didn't know Jacoby Brissett. It's that they knew him as a backup. And that's how he's been pigeonholed. And it's not just Browns fans. It's across the league, right? He's a journeyman backup, a bridge kind of quarterback. And that's how the Browns view him because they have Deshaun Watson coming back. But yet Brissett doesn't consider himself that. And he, I talked to him before the season. He was so excited about having the opportunity to start again. And it's obvious. And he's embraced the moment. He sees the moment. And he's playing much better than I think I expected and a lot of people expected. And he's playing winning football. And, you know, who knows? It's about consistency, right? Can he continue to do it? Can he continue to do it when you'd ask him to throw 30 times a game? Um, but just the last few games have been really impressive. And it's the way he's doing it, the way he's thinking, the way he's throwing. Um, and I think it's exciting because I think it gives the Browns a chance to win probably more games than I thought when the season began. Yeah. I mean, you're, he has not been anything but a positive uh, as far as wins go in the first three games, without question.